Melbourne's massive Bay Channel dredging project officially ended today, but it won't be forgotten in a hurry. The Dutch dredging company has left us a gift, which is an unusual and permanent reminder. The Queen of the Netherlands owners want us to remember them forever. Their gift guarantees that Footprint Alliance, a $400,000 work by a Dutch sculptor known as the Maritime Michelangelo. I want them uh, to think that it is uh, a lively and light uh, piece that they can experience that is, is belonging to this place. It features bay icons, a boy, pier, dredging machinery and a surfboard poking fun at protesters. A reference to the welcoming committee when we sailed the Queen into the bay for the first time. The statue marks the official end of channel deepening, which the government claims came in $200 million under budget and with no serious environmental damage. In many respects, uh, the uh, fauna and the fall, uh, flora of the bay are recovering quicker than expected. But anti-dredging campaigners simply will not accept that. They say today's celebration was way too premature. The impacts of this project will be played out over many years, not just in the short term. Bay monitoring will continue for four more years. The statue here, much longer than that. Nick McCallum, 7 News.